Hey YouTube, this is the Death Scouter, and as you can tell, I've got a nasty wine happening under the hood of my 2013 JK, and we're going to identify what that is. So I'm going to climb up one here, and take a look to So my mechanic originally told me that I had a bad alternator and they could replace it for $400. I knew that it was a 15 minute job, so I did it myself for 160, only to find out that it wasn't my alternator that was making the noise. So how do you find out what it is? Well, one of the things that you can do, take a long screwdriver or a piece of steel, and you can touch it so it's making noise and kind of hold it against your, your head. A little vibration there, and the other thing I'm going to do is go down here to this. You can hardly hear that. I'm putting this piece of pipe right against the camera, and that is my not my alternator. I'll kill the engine. I'll show you what that is. It's making that noise. All right. So to get access down to the engine that we want, engine compartment that we want to get access to. You notice that I've already taken off my uh, my engine shroud cover. That just pulls right off. <clears throat> With an 8 millimeter socket, I loosen this bracket and this bracket on my cold, on my hose intake. And with a 10 millimeter, I took out this bolt and the other one that would be here. And we'll go ahead and pull these cooling hoses out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and pull this off the air, air box. We're going to be gentle now because we have a, a sensor wire that's connected here, but we're just going to fold that over and get that out of the way and get an idea as to what we're looking at. I'll go ahead and zoom in here. Now, this is, uh, you can take a look at what makes up all the components here to where your serpentine belt travels around. You have your, your tensioning arm which we will fit into there with a, a quarter inch, I mean a half inch drive socket. You have your flywheel for your engine. You have power steering pump over here and your alternator and hiding down here somewhere is your AC compressor. Alright, but also on both sides here, here you see one, get down in here here you see one, and on the other side of the bracket that holds in the alternator, you see the other. These are called idler pulleys, and while, while they are spinning, the screw is not. And what you saw me do earlier was I went ahead and put that piece of pipe right there on the screw, and the vibrations traveled right up that piece of pipe into the camera, and you could hear, it's kind of like a doctor's stethoscope, you could hear that we had an awful lot of noise coming off of here. I did try it earlier over here on this one, and this one is very quiet. So I'm quite convinced now that what I have is a very bad, a very bad uh, set of ball bearings here inside my idler pulley. So two eight millimeters, ten, two ten millimeters. Get this thing out of the way here, and we have to gain access down to this idler pulley. A couple of things we'll need to do um, is to first of all, we're going to take the serpentine. Um, belt off and to do that on a JK with a 3.6 pentastar. I highly recommend using one of these, which is a half inch drive extension of any size, really. But uh, this is like a like a three inch extension. And we're gonna come up here again. Again, we show this. In real time, I'm not a mechanic. I'm just a guy doing his own car repairs and doing my best to capture it on video. I'm going to go underneath this plumbing here. Get this. Ouch. Boy, that silver pipe is hot. All right, so with the half-inch drive of a breaker bar, there's my long breaker bar, insert it. What we're really going to do now is we're going to go down here and we're going to turn press... Uh, in this plunger here on this on this piston device the piston device is actually what keeps 
some people call it a strut, some people call it a piston. Uh, it's what actually keeps the tension on this tension arm that keeps your serpentine belt nice and tight. So, um, wow, this is really hot. I just drove just a couple blocks. I can't believe it's so hot underneath here already. Um, if you have a hard time with this, you want to go very slow, slow and steady. It's only going to shift, if at most, an inch to the left. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of play like some of the spring-loaded idler arms do. I mean, uh, pull uh, tension arms do. Uh, it only is going to go about an inch or so. If you have a hard time with this, I recommend putting science to work and increasing your leverage by putting a nice long piece of pipe on there getting you some nice extension and then slow and steady let that pressure out you see that I'll do this real slow so you understand you're only going to get that much play maybe a half I said an inch earlier it's maybe a half inch and with this taking this taking this uh, pipe and swinging it over towards the driver's side essentially pushing the bottom of the tension arm towards the passenger side you only get about a quarter inch, half inch play once it's over you want to go ahead and reach up here and uh, this is a two-handed job because there's an awful lot of tension <clears throat> awful lot of tension on that uh, you want to reach up I would prefer going right there because it's easy to access and I pull the I pull the belt off of that this bell housing right here right here is where I was pointing it's easy access and once the belts off any of the ho any of the, the pulleys then you'll have the slack that you need take a look before you disconnect any belts understand how they're routed what they go around so I took out this 13 millimeter bolt and after taking the belt off you can see that this idler pulley just falls right out of the way so here we are this is one of the smooth pulleys um, there are some idler pulleys that are grooved and I'll just take us back down there and show you what I got right, so there's the there's the hole so we're just going to take our new idler pulley and put this 13 millimeter bolt back on and put it back on there and route the uh, serpentine belt and see what just being thorough here so I got this car quest thing it's a uh, what they sell at advance auto I always use advance auto not putting a plug in for them I'm not sponsored by them in any way they just happen to be near my house and anytime you buy from their website you get a 20 to 30 percent discount using their promo codes so uh, that makes things even better I uh, just want to show you that the replacement fully comes with these discs what these are these are actually dust dust covers and I just read in the instructions that this pulley has got sealed bearings, so dust covers are not required. And there were no dust covers on the factory one, which is pretty neat. So I'm um, feel. Let me see if I can. You can actually hear the ball bearings kind of loose in there. This is doesn't spin as freely. As the other one, but it all, but it is noticeably more quiet. So I just want to show you this. I, I know these how-to videos. Sometimes you like to see me actually like turn the wrench and stuff like that. Uh, just not necessary, right? We're just putting a 13 millimeter bolt back on. So let me go ahead and put this back on, reroute the uh, serpentine belt, pick the camera up, see how you, things are going. Okay. So I got this back on. I rerouted the belts. Pulled my breaker bar out of out of the uh, tension arm all right great success doesn't sound like I got a turbocharger spinning up anymore and uh, we're gonna chalk this up as another $17 repair that would have cost who knows how much if I had actually gone to the dealer I know that they would have started out with a $400 alternator, which I didn't need. And then you could figure that the parts would be $60 plus another $90 in labor. So uh, I came away with this with basically a brand new, now a spare. I have a spare alternator. I didn't return the other one for the core charge because it was only a dollar. 
Uh, so I got a spare alternator, a new pulley, uh, idler pulley for about a hundred and ninety dollars. So uh, we'll chalk this up as another great success from the Death Scouter.